Welcome to the channel guys, got another video coming at you. This is going to be another test video on Plasti Dip. And just before I even get into that, I think I'm going to do carbon fiber on the outside of this to make it look complete. To me it looks kind of unfinished, so probably going to do that. Um, so anyway, the test that we're going to be doing on Plasti Dip today is a different test that I did from last time, obviously I did the trying to paint over Plasti Dip and if you could still peel it off. Uh, today I'm gonna test to see different products and different solvents, I guess you would say, that if you were to spill it, such as, and I got asked this question, um, if when you're filling up your vehicle, or whatever, if, you're, if your vehicle or your car's dipped and you're filling it up with gasoline and or diesel, and you happen to pull the thing out, pull the nozzle out, and you spill some on the side of your car, will the gasoline stain or eat away or melt the plastic dip? And I thought that was that was a really good question, I thought, and I it got me curious, you know, it got me thinking, you know, what if, what if you did you just dipped your car and you just got it done and it looks immaculate and then you go and get gas all over it and it melts it. So we're gonna take a look and I, I just have a bunch of different things, which they're not all full yet. I just have regular, this is just Rotella oil. It's like diesel oil, which it's just oil, engine oil. Uh, I'm gonna do some kerosene, diesel fuel, gasoline, which is just gonna be 87, and fuel oil, which is the stuff basically that if you use oil for your heat and stuff in your house, that, that kind of oil. Um, so it's all kind of similar type things that you might use. You, you probably, I kind of doubt you would ever spill regular conventional like motor oil on your car. But if that were to happen for some odd reason, whatever you're doing, then we tested it. So here's the panel that I te did the test in the last video. Obviously there you can see where I peeled it off when I painted over it. So I have a bunch of stuff where I know I can still peel it, different spots and everything. So I'm gonna try and pour these solvents all over like different spots of the panel itself. Like we'll try gas here and, and so on and so forth. And we'll see what happens, see if it melts it. Um, now I do know, uh, I was helping a buddy with a quad one day who was running 93, um, just pump gas in his quad so we drained it out because the fuel pump wasn't working and we put it in a solo cup like this and after sitting for a little bit we poured it back out and it actually had completely melted where the top line of the fuel was and i could pull the cup apart and completely separate it so with the ethanol crap that's capable of doing that and this being a rubberized compound and it over time, if you if you let it sit in certain things, it would eat away at your like rubber fuel lines and stuff like that. So that kind of puts in my head, it might not be good for Plasti Dip, but I'm gonna try it and we're gonna see what happens. So I filled the gasoline and as you can see, it is very corrosive and just melted the cup clean off. And it obviously spilled down over the Plasti Dip. So we're gonna use this test surface now, um, just because that kind of happened and I really didn't want that to happen, but as you can see, that's what gasoline does to a solo cup. And it's, it literally melted it. I mean, it's, it's kind of not like stringy and sticky. It's kind of gross. So, and the Plasti Dip, yeah. So there you go. If you do spill gasoline on Plasti Dip, it will melt it and if I would take a paper towel to that and wipe it, it would most likely completely wipe it off. So I'll get a paper towel and test that and see what happens. All right, so we got some towels and let's just say you're at the fuel pump, you spilled some gasoline, you're gonna wipe it off and boom, you just wiped off and smeared all of your Plasti Dip all over the place, all over your vehicle. You pretty much could wipe it clean off if you really wanted to. And there we go, I just wiped it clean. So you definitely, if your car is dipped, your vehicle by any means is dipped, you definitely do not wanna get 
gasoline on it because it will melt it. it <laughs> you clearly can see that is you definitely just don't want to get it on there. Um, it's just not a good uh, good scenario to be in, especially if you just dipped your car and it's like the same day you dipped your car and you just spilled gasoline on it and now you have to either completely redo it or uh, it just it just wouldn't be a good scenario so definitely a no-go with gasoline um obviously you're not going to stand at the pump and like just spray gas on your car i mean if you do then you need help but anyway so i mean they, i mean it just melts like this is the gas that we have that we're putting in our vehicles like this is ridiculous it melted a solo cup like can't even do the test properly because it melted the bottom of the solo cup out I mean that's ridiculous so we'll get the rest of this stuff done and none of this other stuff ate through the cup or melted the cup um, so definitely a no-go for gasoline not at all all right so I got all the chemicals per se here ready to go and yes I know that that fire pit is smoking, but it is not giving off any heat. So before you freak out, you go, oh, it's gonna blow up and catch on fire. Don't worry, I checked before I put this here. Um, so anyway, we got kerosene here, regular motor oil, diesel fuel, and fuel oil that you would fill an oil tank at your house. So let's take some of the kerosene and we'll just dump a little bit on here. There you can see, we've got some on there. Take some regular motor oil, and we will also just dump some on there. Obviously, we already did the gasoline because it was in a hurry and didn't even wait for me to do the test. Take some diesel fuel. We'll dump some of that. Uh, let's see. Dump some of that over here, if I can get this to peel back. I obviously can so we'll take some diesel fuel because this is gonna be another one that people are gonna use and regular fuel oil for your house so there we go we got everything done here so obviously there's the kerosene motor oil fuel oil diesel now we'll take a towel because we just realized oh shit we just spilled some on our brand new dipped car wipe off the kerosene it definitely melts it a little as you can see because it's turning the paper towel blue now as far as staining and stuff I don't really notice anything um, obviously it probably would leave like a little bit of stain but I feel like the kerosene it did wipe away and if you scrub it hard enough you will yeah it does the same thing almost as gas it kind of eats away at it if you scrub it hard enough now if you lightly just go over it and dry it it does kind of leave a ring as you can see um so it, it probably wouldn't work as far as getting kerosene on it so we'll go to regular motor oil now try and wipe that stuff off regular motor oil appears to wipe off clean I don't see I mean even if I scrub it I can't get it to come off so I'd say motor oil if for some stupid reason you would happen to spill motor oil on part of your car you could get away with wiping that off um, as far as staining I'm not sure it it's still kind of slick there so you might be able to wash it off and if we go to the fuel oil that you would fill your oil tank if you're using oil hot water or oil heat that I can feel made it slippy so therefore it melted it a little and I could wipe that off too but there again you can see in the rag it obviously came off and if I scrub a little bit I have to put in some effort to this some parts of it do come off um, but not really that bad compared to like the gasoline and the kerosene um, but, but other than that it, it's not really that bad it did melt it a little bit but not horrible 
And now to the diesel, which I, and that definitely melted it as well. And that melted it quite a bit. And like I said, this and if you scrub with this one, it definitely comes off a little bit more. Oh gosh, a lot more than the kerosene does. but not as much as the gasoline. But it definitely will come off and it definitely does melt it. You can see me smearing it right there because it did melt it slightly. But there again, it is definitely nowhere near as bad as the gasoline. I would say gasoline is the worst, the worst one here. Gasoline, probably diesel second, kerosene, third the oil didn't do anything the oil didn't do anything at all fuel fuel oil actually like kind of stained it it made it it did melt it but just not really that bad so definitely gasoline you do not want to get on your car at all any dip surface for that matter uh, you don't really want to get any of these on your surface at all you just you don't want to do that at all you don't want to get kerosene oil fuel oil gasoline diesel just don't get any of them so but definitely Definitely gasoline. I, I was honestly expecting gasoline to do something like that, but nowhere near that extent. I mean, that that's really bad. I mean, it just ate away at it, something terrible, and just melted it. And I don't even have any more gasoline left. I could get some more, but you could clearly see that I wiped it away and everything. And so let's let's check while since I got just regular motor oil here. Let's see how the peelability is now with motor oil being on it. And it obviously doesn't appear to be as good. It still wants to peel in little tiny slithers. Yeah, so I'd say the peelability for that is kind of crap. And the peelability for the other ones are going to be crap too because you basically melted part of the plastic dip away so it's not as thick. So there you have it. There's the test of the day. Test for plastic dip, gasoline, big no-no to get on your car. As you can see, it would just it would just be horrible if that were to happen. Um, I've always just took the nozzle and like pulled it back so all the fuel drains back in the nozzle. I've always done that even before I plastic dip, just because I don't want gas on my regular paint. So there you have it: gasoline, fuel oil, diesel regular motor oil and kerosene gasoline with the biggest crap of the day as it melted the solo cup <coughs> so hope you guys enjoyed today's video hope you enjoyed the testing if you have any suggestions for something else you want me to test with plasti dip be sure to leave it in the comments below be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it be sure to subscribe and check out some of the other videos have a great day